Good morning. Welcome. How are you? <laughs> to all the parents and relatives, I welcome you to this very joyous moment of our life. We are graduating today from Washington Lee High School. We are the class of 2007. Throughout the past four years, we, the class of 2007, have grown from being young teenagers to young adults. No one has been more instrumental to our success at Washington Lee than the people who have taught us, our teachers. I have been lucky enough to have some teachers whom I will never forget. Given the opportunity that I have right now, I want to recognize them. Mrs. Root, thank you for teaching me how to write a thesis statement. Conversation on politics were always exciting. Another teacher for whom even infinite words of thanks will never be enough for me is Dr. Adiji. Washington Lee was my first ever foreign school. When I came to this school on October the 11th, 2003, I felt genuine excitement, but I also felt like an alien on a different planet. I had never seen schools with lockers. Schools where we were not supposed to wear uniforms. Schools which had organized sports teams. Schools where students could party. Schools where social interaction could get, mmm, very social. <laughs> But on that very first day, I met Dr. Adiji, who let me acclimate to this new planet of mine. He went through a map of our school so that I did not get lost in search of my new classes, and basically told me the whereabouts of everything. Anyone could have taught me French, but only Dr. Adiji's presence helped me find my keys at this place people called Washington and Lee. I was no longer a foreign kid lost in the hallways. I had finally found my new home, my new family, my new life. Finally, thank you, Ms. Severin. I was supposed to be in some art class in my freshman year, but accidentally, I met our choir teacher. This accident could not have been more valuable to me. I went back to my counselor and had her change my schedule. I joined high school chorus in my freshman year and then later had the experience of singing in Washington Lee Magazines, where I found my best, my closest, my dearest friends. I knew nothing about the technical side of music, what a treble clef was or what time signature meant, but I always had a passion for singing. Miss Severin used this passion to make me a decent singer, and her guidance took me to places I had never even dreamt of. I realized how much she loved her students when on this very occasion, down there, we were singing our graduation song. And we sang our graduation song so beautifully that Miss Severin had tears in her eyes at the end of it. Miss Severin, you might not think that you're the greatest conductor, but to us, you were the perfect one. Thank you. <laughs> to all the teachers sitting here, I want to say one thing very simple. You made us who we are today. And you have given us so much to learn. And today, it is our opportunity to give you back. So I want all of you to give a round of applause to all the teachers who touched you deeply in the past four years.
recognize that our class will be the last class to graduate from our Quincy Road building. Well, that building that showed proud for more than 75 years. Thus, let's recall some memories about it. Wait, uh, no, 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 no. Let me just talk about one thing that we all will seriously miss. Our school's heating system. <laughs> you all know what I'm talking about. We would go to one class and all of a sudden it would be so hot in there and we would all just go, ah, ah, ah. And from nowhere, we would go to the second floor and all of a sudden, everyone would just go, Thank <laughs> you.